Good morning, evening, friend. I'm your friendly announcer. And I got some serious news to pass on to everybody. And what I'm about to... Y'all remember that song? Anyway, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, family. First and foremost, I want to welcome you to this place that I say is the mental house. We dealing with the mentals. We we have admitted we are dealing with our shortcomings. We are proactive about how we live our life on an everyday basis. And um I think it's very healthy, especially when you look at what's going on in America today. It's very important that we keep our mentals intact. Especially when madness is all around you. But, uh, again, whatever side of the diaspora that you may be on, I want to welcome you and thank you for being here. I want to do a series of uh, mail that I've received from inmates. And hopefully, if I'm blessed enough, I'll be able to talk to some family members and people who are dealing with loved ones who are incarcerated, who may or may not, in their opinion, be guilty of what they're charged with. But just the whole gambit of what goes on in prison. Now, it's going to be a short series um, because it's not like I got a lot of um, letters. But I believe it's six. And... I hope that you support the channel. I hope that you support them. And hopefully uh, when we set up some conversations with families and loved ones. And hell, maybe some of y'all uh, are experiencing the same thing. And then I can have your open participation as well. I would really, really appreciate that um, from the supporters of the mental house. So with this, when with that being said, I want to get into this where I have um, Daniel Harris, and and thank you, Daniel. Thank you very much for your open and honest letters. I'm going to make sure that I encourage my listeners to uh, donate to the uh, Prison Writers uh, Club. And most of them have them, people that are willing and want to share their stories. And um, a lot of them are, are really getting stuff off their chest. I really appreciate it, personally. But if you don't choose to, at least I'm bringing you their stories and you get a chance to hear and deal with what some some of those are dealing with in the prison systems throughout America. Now, this one by Daniel Harris is, uh, I'm a transgender inmate. You don't want to mess with, though. Okay, I'm the one that they told you about. I'm a transgender inmate that you don't want to mess with. <laughs> it's just as simple as that. Whoa. The personal and pugnant story of this transgender inmate grappling with the identity, respect, and survival in the confinements of the prison. I think that's very important. And I'm looking forward to getting to the story let's get to it i'm a transgender inmate not my fault i was born with a woman's soul what makes me transgender is that i have a crotch deformatory male parts where i should have had female but i'm damn sure girl where it counts 
between my ears. If you ignore my tiny male appendage, maybe in a dark room you'd never know. Yeah, low lighting helps. <laughs> we have lots of people arguing about what rights, what I should have as a trans person. For me, it's as simple as thinking in terms of compromise. I live in a man in a men's prison due to the aforementioned appendage as a woman. As I have chosen to transition in prison, I feel that it is my place to do most of the compromising. I carry myself with the utmost respect for everyone else, and I afford everyone else their right to their opinion. If they choose to hate me, then it's their loss. Those who get it know me, find me to be a lot nicer than advertised. So I also must let you know that I demand respect by dressing to the, to do my best not to offend anyone. Okay, most of my closest friends are totally straight because I respect their boundaries. They got to know me as a human being. I have learned that when I have to move around new people, my main problem is that many people call themselves transgender in prison. And many who are actually transgender have really bad role models. Once they realize that I'm not like them, then everything gets better. Many a gay men in Texas prison got on hormones thinking boob would make um, his hustling easier. Some straight ones claim transgender to get shipped from the most dangerous prisons. Some did not think it through at all. No one has told them that hormones don't change bone structure or make baldness go away. <laughs> yeah, I'm lucky enough to have a pretty hair, okay, and facial features that, if not feminine, are at least cute with a little enhancement from the color pencils that we use for makeup. That boy unit is designed uh, for transgender unit seems strange once you know. It is also a sex offender unit. Hmm. Hmm. Maybe they use trans persons as a test. There have been a few failures that the staff never knew, knew about. One silly kept masking debating, ooh, while looking at me. I had to beat the brakes off of him. I have a bit of a wren that, <laughs> I'm sorry. Um, I had to, well, well, here's what it actually says. I had to beat the shit out of him. I had a bit of a rip that he thought couldn't be true until he got naked one too many times. Another was a Hispanic Christian who got drunk and came jumping out of his metaphor of his metaphorical closet <laughs> to try to follow me in a day room. Okay. Okay, I, I believe it. A quick flurry of punches followed by a knee to his face for good measure, and then I announced, y'all can get your homeboy, or I can life flight him. It's your choice. It nearly caused a riot. The Mexicans tried to make him slap me. He got beat up by his own refuse, for his own refusing, and then they were still grumbling about him uh, settling with me the next day. That was before a good man I would later adopt and call nephew told them, fuck tomorrow. Your homeboy is gay. If you want to fight about it, then get your knives and meet me under the stairs. 
I'll knock all you bees out. You know the word. It rhymes with witches. Big Walt became my friend because I respected him and his boundaries. And this big black gangster was willing to fight for his transgender friend. He still give me hugs when I see him and calls me his tranny granny. He didn't even talk to any transgenders before me, before he met me. Now he's like family to me. So when I hear people argue for rights that we don't deserve, I want to tell them to use their brains. Just use them for once. Think if anyone in a dress can go and to a lady's room, some pervert will use a dress to try and rob and rape women and girls. I doubt that there is a business in America that wouldn't be willing to let a trans person use the bathroom, and if they refuse, then don't go back. Let me read that again. I doubt there is a business in America that wouldn't be willing to let a trans person use the staff bathroom. And if they refuse, don't go back. As to minors wanting to transition, we have to err on the side of caution. Children are too easily manipulated and exploited. We have to hold off on anything that would be irreversible until we are adults. Yes, even though I knew when I was four, but it would have been a horrible mistake for me to transition that young. <coughs> Children will always be cruel. So, here I am, 60 years later, living as a woman for the past 10 years and wouldn't trade it for the freedom because I've never been so free. <laughs> if y'all want to write to Daniel Harris, um, his uh, inmate number is 0062-2851. He's in the Texas Department of Criminal Justice, the Boyd Unit, 200 Spur, 113. Teague, Texas. That's Teague, Texas, 75860-2007. Again, you can write to Daniel Harris. His inmate number is 0062-2851. Texas Department of Criminal Justice. In the boy, he's in the Boyd unit, two hundred spur one thirteen. Ter Teague, I was gonna say Terry Teague, Teague, Texas, seven five eight six zero. Two zero zero seven. I thank y'all very much for listening. I wanna give a um a thank you to Daniel Harris. For opening up and sharing his story. I appreciate it. And. Um, hopefully. You'll have some of the conversations. The deep ones that you need to have. Thank you for listening. And if y'all like what y'all hear. Please like subscribe and share. And I'm going to see you in the next video.